And here she is now, emerging from her limo, former board member of the Susan B. Anthony Society for their sisters of Gertrude Stein, Mrs. Judith Beasley, waving to her many fans outside Converse College in Spartanburg. Mrs. Beasley, can you tell me why you've come to Converse College in Spartanburg tonight? Well, uh, as you may know, it's been publicized in quite a few of the papers across the country. I am on a Goodwill tour as a Goodwill ambassador on behalf of the League of Concerned Citizens from Calumet City, Illinois, which is my hometown, and I'm so proud of it. This particular evening, I'm here on behalf of the heterosexual community doing community outreach to the, the homosexual community, uh, and I brought the quiche of peace, and I hope they'll accept it in the same spirit with which it's given. Is quiche a very popular dish in Calumet City? Well, it isn't. I'll tell you quite truthfully, a lot of us in Calumet City used to think that quiche actually caused homosexuality. Of course, it doesn't. But Harold thought so, too. It was years before I could get him to take a bite. You know, real men just don't eat quiche. I know they can't spell it. Well, I think I'll go inside now and see if I can't make a little headway in sort of unifying humanity through the breaking down of sexual barriers. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, the presentation of the quiche of peace. Do you think that was in the spirit in which it was intended? Well, I, they didn't act like they wanted me to come inside, did they? Well, maybe they don't want to be photographed. Well, you know, and I don't blame them. They're very vulnerable in this society. I think what we'll do, we'll just lower our cameras down about a foot and a half and we'll go inside and leave them their anonymity.